Okay, right now it's my uh, distinct pleasure to introduce our next speaker, uh, Sharon Angle, who is running against, yeah, yeah, yeah. Running against Harry Reid, and uh, it is a tough race. It is a tough race. We need to give Sharon Angle all the help we possibly can give. Sharon, talk to the San Diego people here. Thank you for standing up for freedom and liberty. It's a wonderful thing to see people come out and understand what's at stake here. I am Sharon Angle. I'm running for your seat, the people's seat in the U.S. Senate, opposing <laughs> let's make a deal, tax and spend, Harry Reid. <laughs> we're, we're here to talk about Obamacare and the repeal of Obamacare. We're also here to talk about this movement. This is called the Doctors' Tea Party, and it's really part of a larger movement across this United States. You know, People ask me all the time, what's the Tea Party about? The Tea Party is about mainstream Americans that a year and a half ago got off their big fat sofas and decided they needed not only to register to vote, but they needed to take a stand for America and our liberty. Now, we, we have, like all movements, we have a few controversial uh, portions, but, you know, controversy is good for America. It's what make Mer uh, makes America work. We all have opinions, and just because there's some controversy doesn't mean that we always embrace every bit of that controversy. We're kind of like Reagan. If you're 80% with me, we're friends and we're going the same direction. So we don't want to we don't want to concentrate on the controversy. What we want to concentrate is on those things that we commonly agree about. And we have some things that we commonly agree about. One of those is that we have the right contract with America and that's our constitution. We know that this Obamacare is unconstitutional and Missouri has made the first Tenth Amendment step against Obamacare saying not only is it unconstitutional, but we're not going to let it happen in this state. We're not going to. We need to support Missouri and their 10th Amendment stand against Obamacare, just like we need to support Arizona and their 10th Amendment stand for the borders. We understand our Constitution and that our founding fathers had it right. They knew that the answer to the problem. The solution to the problem was not the government. The government is not the solution. The government's the problem. It's we, the people, that are the solution. And that's why they gave us a constitution that allows we, the people, to say a few things about our laws. It allows us to make the law. We, the people, can vote for those folks that do the legislating. We can also vote for some folks who understand that judges don't make the law. <laughs> Legislators do. And we need to say a few things about that. When we send folks to Washington, D.C., they need to be able to talk the talk of the Constitution when they're confirming 
Supreme Court judges. They need to supreme. They need to confirm judges who understand the boundaries the Constitution has placed on judges. We don't need folks like Elena Kagan. We need senators that will vote no on activist judges. We also know that we have the right message for America, and that's lower taxes, less government regulation, more individual freedom, and stop the spending. They're always asking us, so what is your solution? We have the solution. It's a very simple solution. Pay back, cut back, and take back. Pay back on the deficits. We can do that first by paying some of that money that we have outstanding there. We have a $500 billion in stimulus. We have $500 billion coming back in TARP money, and we also have about $100 billion in unspent appropriations. We need to put that on the deficit. And while we're at it, we need to tell our senior citizens we understand that the government has taken $2.5 trillion out of your trust fund. They need to put it back. We need to give our businesses some confidence. We need to give our seniors some confidence that we're going in the right direction and that is by paying down on these deficits. We need to cut back on the spending. We can do that if we understand that our Constitution enumerated some powers for the federal government, and we shouldn't be spending money on things that aren't uh, constitutionally correct for us. Those kinds of things need to be pared back and given back to the states, and I'm talking specifically about departments and agencies and unconstitutional czars. You know, the president can have his friends, but I don't need to pay for those guys. And we, we need to talk about some departments that pass down one-size-fits-all policies that fit no one, that come to us in the states as unfunded or underfunded mandates, such as the Department of Education. We need to take back our economy. And we can do that through passing some laws like the repeal of Obamacare. That'll be a take back. We need to have a true audit of the Fed. We need to, we need to liquidate Fraudy Mac and Phony May. We need, we need a fairer, flatter, simpler internal revenue tax code. And finally, we need to talk about America joining together. That's what this Tea Party movement is really about. Harry Reid says he needs $25 million. I say I need a million people with $25. And you. You can say, well, Sharon, that's great. I hope you, I hope you defeat that, Harry Reid, but I can't vote for you. Send money. <laughs> we need to band together as Americans and understand that Harry Reid votes for all of us, whether we live in California or Nevada. He's voting for us. He's passing these laws like Obamacare that we can't live with. We need to send people to the Senate that understand they represent we, the people, all of us in this United States. And that's why I'm appealing to you to join with folks from Virginia and Florida and New York, folks that have said, I can't afford more than $25, but I'm sending it this month and next month and the next month. Thank you so much for joining with me. Thank you for being great Americans. God bless you for that. And remember that we have the right angle to defeat Harry Reid.